If you could, Rose, how would you describe this stretch of your life? I would describe it as a fairy tale so far. Um, it's just been such an incredible week. I couldn't have imagined scripted this week in any better fashion. And uh, just coming off of nationals last week, I full on wanted to enter this week as a learning experience, a learning opportunity to learn what the real pros are doing out um, inside the ropes. And just going from there, I you know, came into the week with a lot of media attention and there was a lot happening. Um, but the fact that I was able to prevail and uh, just full on execute what I needed to do out there on the golf course uh, and come out on top, it just really just is an incredible feeling. Yeah, I, I, I think you qualify for a learning experience. You learned everything. You learned how to win a, a, a <laughs> professional golf event, which is unbelievable. So a 66 Saturday, you had the lead and you, then you had to sleep on it. What was that night like going into the next day? Honestly, sleeping on leads is not something that I'm unfamiliar with, in my opinion. Um, especially, I've had to sleep over uh, two nights of a lead that was pretty exponential from Augusta National Women's Amateur. So I've been in this position before, but it is my first time as a professional. So um, there's definitely a lot more um that's on the line in a sense but you know i feel like i treated it just as any other tournament that i was playing in um even as an amateur so uh, i think that mindset really allowed me to just go out there and do my best i knew that i was playing against the best in the world uh especially on the professional level so i knew that there was going to be some low scores out there um if you know the course doesn't change its condition and the final round was playing tough, but I really just try to stick it through it. 